Well, hello everybody. It is Saturday morning. Time for another weigh-in. Let's go see what the scale is going to do today. Well, let's see what happened on the scale before we get into it. Okay, well, I have to tell you that I was surprised by this. Um, when I weigh really early in the morning, it isn't showing me much of a loss. So I was really happy today when I saw this um, 2.3 loss. Last week was 2.9, today's 2.3, and we're just going to keep going for it. Uh, I'm not going to change much. Uh, I pretty much did what I did last week. Uh, I just tracked everything. Um, there might have been a day or two that I went over points, but I used weeklies for that. Uh, I didn't run out of weeklies. I didn't even come close to running out of weeklies. I mean, there have been times when I was out of weeklies by the time we got to Sunday. But not the case today. So um, just to go over my stats here, I lost 2.3 for the week. That takes me to 5.7 for the month and for the year. A total of 56.3. I still have 36 pounds to get to my lowest weight. So at least the scale is, is going in the right direction. I've got 21.6 to get to Wonderland. And my halfway mark of to goal, my halfway to goal is 15 pounds away. So uh, I'm making progress. Sure, would I love to lose five pounds a week? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I'm not going to. So it seems like um, after I hit 68, my, meta my metabolism came to a halt. So uh, I am eating, we're trying to eat more protein now. And I did, I did tell, we'll say this, this week I did add a little bit of fat back into my diet. I was kind of pretty much going with the, with the uh, really low fat or no fat stuff again. I started adding some fat back in, and uh, I think that was beneficial to me. So anyway, I had a good week, and uh, I'm really excited about this weight loss. Uh, my size 10 jeans are hanging right there still. I look at them every single day, and I happen to look back in my uh, memories. You know, I get those... OneDrive memory things that pop up. A couple days ago it popped up and it was a video of from 2019 on I think it was January 11th when I was able to fit into those jeans. And so I was able to wear those jeans for about four months and then I started putting weight back on. I haven't been into them since 2019. They're practically new. I mean they're, they don't look like they've ever been worn. So I'm looking forward to getting back into those size 10 jeans. That's my personal goal. Uh, some of you don't get wrapped up in stuff like that, but it's like, is there something about that size that I want to be able to say I wear? Uh, and that if that's what's keeping me focused and on plan right now, so be it. You know, we all have to do what we have to do. Um, I did record my food today. I'm going to go ahead and show that to you. Uh, I had... Uh, a zero point dinner, but I had a, a dessert tonight that I had made that you know I used to make. I had forgotten about it, and I've been seeing this package, this box that's of sugar free brownie mix on my pantry for a while. And the reason I was looking at in my pantry real close is because I'm trying to decide what I'm going to start packing into my camper. What well, not now, once the weather clears um, or gets warmer. So when I go to, I'm taking some of my food with me, well, a lot of my food with me when I go out to Utah this summer. So uh, anyway, let me stop here now and 
show you what I had to eat today on plan. This is my way in morning breakfast. I've got just some scrambled eggs. It's two eggs that weighed out at 101 grams. I mixed in some uh, liquid egg whites with that, 48 grams, or 88 grams, I'm sorry. Uh, both of those are zero points. My banana is 90 grams and zero points. The toast is the Aunt Millie's Live Carb Smart White Bread, two slices for two points. I just have some spray butter on there, and I have a total of 79 milliliters in my coffee this morning, um, and that's fat-free half and half for one point. So I have a total of three points for breakfast. I don't know if you can see my app there or not. Three points for breakfast. And that's how I'm starting out my way week. Okay, well this is my uh, lunch today. I just have some avocado toast. It's the Sara Lee 45 calorie bread, uh, both of those slices. It's two points for both of those slices. 47 grams of avocado, and uh, that is two points. My tomato slices are zero, and my 173 grams of spaghetti squash is also zero. So I have a four point lunch. This is my dinner tonight. I just have some cooked spaghetti squash. Uh, zero points for that. Around 100 calories. I've got it topped with 101 grams of cooked 99% fat-free ground turkey. Also zero points. Um, about 150 calories on that. And then my fat-free salsa. This is my home canned salsa. Uh, that weighed out at 107 grams. It's also zero points. So I have a zero point dinner. And I decided to have a little dessert tonight. I made some brownies today. Uh, the brownie is made with uh, sugar-free brownie mix. Also, there's no oil in there. I used my home canned pumpkin for that instead. I don't know how well you can see that. It's so thick and yummy looking. Uh, there's one egg in it. So I put it into my recipe builder for six servings. Um, but that's what I uh, got out of the mix with six servings because I like mine kind of thick. And it's four points. So four points for the brownie. Zero points for my 60 grams of berries. Uh, so I have a four-point dessert. This takes me to 16 points for the day. This smells so yummy, and I can't wait to dig in. All right. Well, that was not a bad day. That spaghetti squash I had, I, I've had the spaghetti squash sitting on my table for a few weeks. I keep looking at it. And I, to be honest with you, I've just been too busy to deal with it. And today I just decided that, okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it today. And I forgot how much I really liked spaghetti squash. So that was a good dinner. My home canned salsa uh, is fat-free. It doesn't have anything in it, I know, except for vegetables. So it's really good. It's really hot. Now, um... The reason, one of the reasons I like eating hot and spicy foods is because it encourages me to drink more of this. So I've had, uh, this is my second big cup of water today. After I know this, I'm not going to drink anymore because then I'll be up all night peeing and I don't want to do that either. So uh, <laughs> if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for uh, following my journey to lose weight. Uh, my goal is to lose about 148, 149 pounds, almost 150. Uh, I had lost 93.5, and I put that much back on. So because I'm sitting right now, what did I say? 56.3. So I am taking this journey earnestly again. And uh, am I going to get to my weight goal this year? No, I, I won't. I have too much weight to lose. And I'm not being unrealistic. Uh, when you're my age, it, your metabolism is slower. And you can't lose as quickly as what you used to be able to. That's just biology. You know, it's just a fact of life. So, 
the important thing is, is that I'm staying consistent. And uh, the all the little losses that I have every week, they're going to add up. So uh, even in the five pounds that I've lost, what, 5.7? Yeah, 5.7 pounds that I've lost since the beginning of the year, I can feel it. My clothes, I can feel that five pounds in my clothes. And I don't feel as bloated as what I was feeling. So I've eliminated a lot of the high, really high sodium uh, foods. And I am, you know, when I need salt, I add my own uh, sea salt to it. So uh, yeah, there's not much else to say other than I had a good week. I'm really happy I had a good week. And it gives me, the every time I have a loss, it gives me the motiva motivation to continue. So um, I was hoping it was going to be a little warmer today. I kind of wanted to go for a walk, but it was just too cold. And um, I'm not trying to get sick, you know, because I'm around kids all the time as it is. And I just don't want to encourage that. So uh, I've been watching travel videos today of uh, where I'm going in Utah and, uh, you know, where some friends of mine are traveling to these days. And it's... Uh, it's been fun. I'm getting the urge to travel. The itch is getting there really bad, and it's not even spring yet. <laughs> so, anyway, every, that's going to wrap it up for me. I don't want to keep this video super long. Uh, my plan is just to have another good week. I, I, had, I took my lunch every single day last week. Uh, I actually wasn't even really tempted to go off and get anything else. I knew... Uh, in the back of my mind, I keep looking at those jeans. Actually, I took a picture of it, so I have it on my phone. And uh, I, every time that I had a fleeting moment about, gee, this sounds good, sounds good, or that sounds good, uh, I thought, no, I'm not going to ruin what I've worked so hard to do so far. So before I wrap it up, I want to tell you, the brownie that I made for dessert, uh, I used the sugar-free brownie mix. Uh, and I added a third of cup of pumpkin, my home canned pumpkin, in place of the oil that it was asking for. I went ahead and added the egg and uh, I think three tablespoons of water. And that was it. So the only calories were in the mix itself. So like I said, when I put that into the re recipe builder and uh, I put it in for six servings, it came out at four points per serving and about 195 calories per serving. So that was that. A really nice treat went really well, well, well with those berries. And I, you know, I used to make stuff like that all the time. I just haven't taken a lot of time to do a lot of cooking. And with my kitchen sink situation, it's, you know, a little difficult for me to do some things. Uh, I can't use my kitchen sink right now. I don't know if I told you that or not because the drain is corroded and downstairs where my stuff goes to is uh, it's dripping down. It was dripping down on top of the electrical box that turns on everything in my kitchen. So my, it, and it can't, it can't be easily fixed because um, of where the pipe is and there's a radiator there and, you know, it's an old house, and this was like a redo to a, a converted attic that I live in. So um, my landlady asked me to please not use that kitchen sink. So I've been washing my dishes in the bathroom sink. And is it a pain in the butt? Yeah, but, you know, I'm not paying a lot of money here. And she's just the sweetest person in the world. So... I'm willing to do that, but it, it does make cooking and, you know, cleaning a little bit more challenging. But, and, and that's one of the reasons that I don't cook a lot if I don't have to, because I just don't want the cleanup mess. So I don't know how I got off on that tangent. But anyway, I don't have anything special going on this weekend. Uh, we have a day off on Monday from school, like, you know, most everybody does. Uh, I have been doing computer work. I'm doing some sc stuff for school that I have to get up online. Uh, hopefully by tomorrow I'll be finished with what I'm working on. I'm scoring parts for the kids to practice with at home. And it's not a difficult job. It's just time consuming. 
And so I have two songs I want to get done this weekend. And then also I'm working on my son's business stuff with uh, getting his books ready for taxes. So that's my plan this weekend. So it's a, it involves a lot of sitting. Tomorrow I am going to make a grocery run just so I don't have to go anywhere on Monday uh, to pick up things like some fruit and my cottage cheese I like. I have to tell you for lunch, that factory cottage cheese saved me a lot. Because, I, first of all, I like it, and I mix it with pineapple, or I even mix it with tuna, and uh, it it fills me up to the point where I, I, I'm not at all hungry, you know, throughout the afternoon after I eat lunch. So, um, I've been trying to take things that have a higher protein content um, for lunch. So, anyway, I'm going to do my grocery run tomorrow. Uh, because Monday I don't want to do anything. I want to relax because school starts again on Tuesday. And I have I have a couple of really, really busy weeks at school again. I mean, they're all busy weeks. But we have some extra things coming up that um, are going to take a lot of time. So, all right. I promise this is it now. And I will uh, be, if I don't see you before next week, I will certainly be back with another Way In video next Saturday. Thank you again for supporting me and for following me along on this journey. Uh, you guys are the best, and I so appreciate your comments. Even though I may not respond to all of them, I read every single one of them, and I uh, appreciate all of your advice and your encouragement. You guys have a great night, a great weekend. Stay safe, and I will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.